Welcome back to the channel everybody. We're at the storage unit, episode 2 of Project Black Betty. Black Betty is my 1988 Dodge D100. If you remember in episode 1, I was going to take the front bumper off. It'll allow me to do a little bit more. I didn't have the right tools. I got the right tools now, so I'm not going to make you sit and watch me do it, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove the front bumper. Okay, so I got the front bumper off, and this is what I had. I know it wouldn't have done shit if I was in another accident in this thing. I'm going to go ahead and remove this, and this setup will never be the same. There we go. We got the front fender and everything all off. This is what I'm going to be working with. It's not terrible. It is fixable. It kind of buckled right here. So I am going to have to uh, get that straightened out. This side is a little bit worse. Kind of twisted in. I think it is fixable. But let's continue working. So after about 45 minutes or an hour of fighting with stupid bolts that wouldn't come undone and trying to figure out which bolt was what size and all that fun shit and working in a tight area right here just big enough for my ass to slide on through. So after that I got the other front fender off. What a pain in the ass. What's up next is I think the doors. Seeing as I have more room up in here now, I should be able to hopefully get to the passenger door. Last time I tried to open the door, I think it was kind of seized shut up at the handle. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work on the door. Thank God for the light on top of the camera too. It's doubling up as a nice little work light. There's no way. There's only one bolt on the bottom. Before I actually make my decision, let's see if it'll open. Perfect. Maybe I'll get lucky and maybe it'll be just three bolts. I honestly can't remember. Nice. Just my fucking luck. It's gonna be a little more difficult because without being smart enough to go take a look at the other side. I've got two more bolts down here. Put a bolt back in the top, a bolt back in the bottom. Upside about these trucks, the bench seat and the fact that you can access the door bolts. Let the door open a little bit. And I mean this bench seat is pretty comfortable. This truck's not perfect but clean where it needs to be. Just like so. I hugged the passenger side. At least I didn't plan on working on it in a storage unit. I wanna taste the pain. I think I'm seeing all red. Two bullets in the gun, one shot to the head. I need a blank space. Cause everything is a threat. But I never back down, man. I'd rather be dead. I'm making love to face. And she looked better in bed. And I'ma rock this life till I take my last breath. I wanna make a change. I got one life left. So I'm gonna go down swinging don't you so I don't think I'm going to be able to get any more in here. I've got the two doors and that pretty much does it. I was going to try to bring home the other fender. Maybe able just to toss this thing on top. Quick little send off before I end the video. I'm home now. You can tell. Walked in, smelled something delicious. This is what I get to come home to. The sweet potato and Italian sausage stew. I'm cooking on low for the last like four or five hours now. Back to the end of the video. That's gonna wrap up this video. Pretty happy with the amount of shit that I got accomplished today. If you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up, smashing the subscribe button, 
I know this is a motorcycle channel, so keep your shiny side up and ride safe if you're out. And until next time, see you later.